Okay, I think I know what the problem is here, and I think it has something to do with the difference between the standard deviation and the variance. So I'm going to go to StatCrunch. I already have it open here, and I'm going to just open up a blank data table and type in the information. So I'm going to go to Stat and Variance Stats, one sample with summary. And then what we're going to do is we need to type in the sample variance. So here's the deal. What you're given here for the sample variance, you're actually given the sample standard deviation, 8,400. What I need actually is the sample variance, which is the square of the standard deviation. So I'm going to type in 8,400, and you can just square it right here in the box. So 8,400 squared. The sample size, let's go back and look. The sample size was 20 beams. So we'll go here, sample size 20. We're doing a hypothesis test and 7,000 is um, our standard deviation value, so we need to square that. So 7,000 squared would be our value here. We can just type it that way in the box. It'll calculate for us. And we need to test whether our true variance is greater than 7,000. So we have that set up here. And we are going to say compute. And we are getting, in fact, the p-value of 0.097. So I suspect that what you did is just type in 8,400 and 7,000 here and say compute. And it looks like that's giving what you got. So what you ended up doing, because these tests are based on variance only, if all you have is the standard deviation, you need to square that standard deviation in order to use it for this particular statistical test. So there's the correct values. And I hope that helps. Let me know if you need more help.